Hey y'all, I'm back with part two. This is me just showing y'all the before we wash. This is what my hubby's hair looked like. And this is the, around the after when I was finishing up his retwist. So you wanna keep watching to see the process of the retwist. If you wanna see how I shampoo him at home, then that would be part one of this video. So that's in the description box. So here you are seeing me just kind of arrange his locks. I like to work in sections. That's what I, uh, y'all I'm messing up this voiceover. We're gonna keep it rolling though. Um, I like to work in sections because I find it easier to basically divide his hair in half. It's like he has a lot of hair. And so by putting that top piece in a bun, it makes it easier for me to divide and conquer, if you will. So what you see me doing here is just putting his hair into a bun and Usually I have clips, but my son be messing with my stuff, y'all. So I had to use these scrunchies to do it. And then once I get through with this section, I divide the bottom section into another section. So here I'm just working on kind of making the parting a little bit more neat. But before we even get to that part, I'm dividing that section into a even smaller section because I always start from the bottom and work my way up. So here, y'all see me just trying to separate any hair because the new growth comes and sometimes it gets out of place. I am a beginner with the whole retwist thing. I started retwisting Daz's hair during quarantine last year because his loctician was not taking any appointments. Then she dislocated her knee after that time was up. So I just continued to do his hair and he hasn't been back. I'm using the mango with twist of lime gel. And I'm so happy y'all. I bought that like the same day that I twisted it because I had been using the wax and the wax is not bad, but I just feel like the gel kind of works with his hair and leaves less residue. So this is me just doing the first one. I kind of do like a rolling method at the root and then kind of use my fingers, kind of like I'm rubbing them together and then slide my fingers down, rub a little more, and then I palm roll. And the way that I do this, I would say it lasts for two to three weeks before it needs to be touched up, depending on how we style it. Sometimes I'll do like two strand twists or plaits of some sort for his hair and that would make it last a little longer my husband likes to go like with for the rasta look sometimes so he goes longer than he should in my opinion between his retwists but this is a cute little way to get it done and it does last for a couple of weeks before it starts to look like it needs to be redone I told him after doing it this time, like maybe we should start doing this every two to three weeks just to keep it looking neat and keep me sharp on it. Cause I feel like when we go like over two months in between doing it, I get rusty and his hair is getting longer and longer y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the video down below from the first time that I did this on camera, which was my second time. This is probably now my seventh or eighth time retwisting his hair. It's grown so much in a year. Here I'm just showing you guys again, kind of how I roll and twist that new growth in with the gel. I wrap it around my fingers and then do my little pinching motion with my fingers and palm roll it down. Let me know if y'all like this voiceover thing or if y'all would like me to add music. I gotta find some copyright free music though because the music I like if I play it for too long, it will definitely get that monetization kicked off. And, you know, sometimes you want to get a little check from YouTube. You feel me? <laughs> so it ain't like I don't listen to good music, but the music I be wanting to listen to, I can't really listen to on here. <laughs> so let me see. Now I'm just showing you guys how I move on to the next section and when you start the next section, that's when you want to try to get your parting together. I tried to include the clips. Y'all, this whole video was like 59 minutes. But I tried to include the clips where y'all could see what I was doing the best. 
because as I moved to the left side of his head, I was pretty much blocking. Even when I'm turning a little bit, I feel like I'm blocking, but this camera definitely gives you a better angle than my last video. So if there's anything that I didn't do a good job of capturing this time around, just let me know. And I'll be more than happy to try to get this done for you guys again the next time I retwist. But it's a pretty simple process. Honestly, y'all, I'd recommend just watching a couple of videos on YouTube. You can watch mine. You can watch some others. And it is very simple. Like, I cannot do hair at all as far as braiding or anything like this. But I was able to get it. The first time I tried it. <laughs> and honestly, the product that you use to twist the hair is pretty much what's going to drive your experience. So I got the two rows at the bottom done. Now I'm working through those three rows, I believe, for the second part of that lower section of his hair. And this time around, I included some of the side instead of doing just the back part only because number one I wanted to be able to show you guys what I was doing but number two it just made it easier for me to work from left to right instead of like doing the back and then still having to come back and do the front so again here y'all I'm just cleaning up that parting as best as I can trying to make sure that the hairs that belong at the bottom are at the bottom and the hairs that belong at the top are at the top. Those duck bill clips are awesome for holding hair up, especially if you don't have your clips. They can help with precision. And I do recommend that you use these for that purpose, as well as, you know, just holding the twist in place or the locks in place after you retwist each one because you're going to need them. Here's a close up showing you guys how I twist and retwist. I add my gel, smooth it on the hair, and then I roll it around, roll it around again. Oop, dropped it. Let's try that again. And then you just roll it in the direction. And then I do that pinching motion to kind of smooth that new growth part. And then I do my version of a palm roll. <laughs> All right, let me show you that again. Gonna speed it up a little bit because y'all, this is gonna this is a pretty long video. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to entertain y'all with my voiceover, but let me know. Like next time, should I do music? I don't know. 18 minutes of music is gonna be hard to find, but I can try my best. Because y'all, the, the audio library music, I'm not trying to talk bad about it, but y'all know, especially if you're a YouTuber watching this, the music is kind of slim. I gotta figure out how these people be getting away with the real music with the remixes and stuff <laughs> so i love to play some of what i was really listening to and it does not have to be perfect y'all if they come to you with that hair looking like my husband's did when we started the video it's gonna look better by default it don't have to be perfect when you're doing it at home you're just doing your best you want to look presentable i was doing hubby's hair trying to get it done as quickly as possible because I had a hair appointment for myself in the evening. I was getting braids and he was getting a retwist because we are getting ready to go on vacation. Cannot wait to share your those vlogs with you guys. So make sure you are subscribed so you will be notified. This is going to be going up during Vlogtober. Your girl is uploading videos every day this month. So be sure to click that red button at the bottom of this video. To subscribe give this video a thumbs up and check out my other content y'all i upload videos every single week and during the month of october i am uploading daily for you guys just to see if i can do it and honestly i'm about a little bit over half my content ready and it's making me want to upload videos more for you guys even outside of october like i'm starting to fall in love with youtube again and fall in love with the idea of just kind of showing you guys me and my life and not just trying to be perfect. Like, I don't feel like you have to be perfect all the time. And that's the thing that I learned with this whole learning how to do his hair at home. 
it was something that I did for the first time because we had to, you know, we couldn't go somewhere else and we didn't know anybody who could do it. So I went right to YouTube like I used to back in the day when I started this channel and I watched a couple videos and I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And it did not come out ugly, you know, for someone who doesn't have experience with doing hair. I must say, I think I did pretty good. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though, because I know the real folks come out on the Internet. Now, I told Hubs he need to make his way to the barbershop after this to get that beard and line done because I don't do that. I am not going to shave him because I don't want to mess nothing up. <laughs> but the retwist is going to be looking nice. And then I am getting braids put in. Y'all voted in my poll. And not less braids won, right? But unfortunately... For y'all who don't know what poll I'm talking about, I posted a poll on my community tab asking how I should get my nails, which y'all can see in this video. I went with Burgundy, which was the most popular vote. And then I asked what braid style I should get. And most of you guys voted for medium knotless braids, but I actually decided to go with the layered cornrows, which will be posted in a separate video. Y'all get to go behind the scenes with me while I get my hair braided by Africare the Salon here in Atlanta. Um... But yeah, I love doing those little polls and things and y'all tell me what y'all want to see. You know what I mean? This is our growth together, our community together. So the more y'all let me know what y'all are looking for, the more I can give it to you. And it's great when y'all do let me know like, hey, I'd like to see this, Yosha. And I do remember once I was retwisting Dez's hair on live and they were like, you know, yeah, yo, she should definitely post like how you do his hair and how you wash his hair. So this video is showing you a really detailed and close-up version and good quality of how I do his hair. The other part of this video is me showing you guys how I wash his hair. And it's giving very much kitchen beautician because it is what it is. We were at home using that kitchen sink and we both got wet in the process. Because my husband, he won't hold his head right sometimes. So we end up getting wet. And then he's taller than me. So... Typically, I don't stand when I wash his hair. I typically would like sit on the counter, but I wasn't going to be able to get the angle that y'all needed with me sitting on the counter. So I just showed you guys a way to wash the locks at home because I know a lot of y'all may want to try doing your boyfriend's hair or your husband's hair yourselves, and y'all really don't know how to do it. And I totally get that. All right, y'all. So we finished out that bottom half. Now we're working our way through the top. And here I was just trying to pretty much get it together, figure out how I was going to section this top half and work my way around. Sometimes I have to kind of slow down here because you want to make sure you're twisting the hair in the direction that you want the locks to fall. So when doing the top half, you have to be strategic with how you part and work your way around so that you don't start twisting in a direction that won't make sense when it's time for him to wear the locks, if that makes sense. So here, I'm just pretty much doing what I've been doing the whole time, showing y'all how I apply the gel to the hair, wrap around and lock it down. And honestly, if y'all are wondering, like, yo, sure, twist game, you know, it could be tighter. I agree. But I will say that it still lasts. And I think it's because the gel, the clips, and we also seal at the end. Like, at the end, I'll show you guys. We add that mousse, and we sit under the dryer, the hooded dryer, for an hour. So, for those of y'all that are wondering, like, how do we get these to stay, I definitely think that the hooded dryer is what helps. I noticed that when I used to go to the salon and get my hair curled, or even when my husband would go to his loctician to get his hair twisted, she would set him under the dryer. So the first time that I did his hair, we didn't have the hooded dryer yet. And it did last, but that second time when we actually used the hooded dryer, the twist definitely stayed in place and looked really nice. Also, I prefer to style his hair immediately after he comes out from underneath the dryer, out from underneath the dryer, <laughs> because it seems to kind of set in the style better. It's flatter. And if I do like two strand twists, rope twists, or any sort of like braids, 
it basically seems to come out really nice and curly once he takes them down versus if we wait and it's already dry and we do it like the next day. But in this case, I had a hair appointment in the evening that I could not be late for. So I just had to retwist him after we washed him and then get him under the dryer. So he just kind of left it regular. <laughs> but I felt like this was like a really good angle. Y'all let me know. I was struggling trying to figure out how to get a good angle and not block y'all from seeing what I was doing. But it's pretty straightforward. If you know how to part and you know how to wrap the twist around your finger, then you can do this. Obviously, there's some people that have different techniques and that are better than I am. But like I said, for a beginner, I feel like I did pretty good. <laughs> Side note, I was so hungry <laughs> getting through this. We got off to a late start. And the only thing I had had for the day was breakfast. By the time we finished, it was almost six o'clock. And then I had to shower and go to my evening hair appointment. So y'all, y'all just be happy y'all not hearing my stomach growl. Cause it was, I was so hungry. <laughs> If you have any tips for me, leave them down below. These are like the last few twists, y'all. I was so happy when I was getting to this part. I stood up the entire time for you guys. So y'all be sure to give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, all that good stuff. Support your girl. I am on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So I would love to have y'all here a part of this journey. I do a lot on this channel. I give advice. There's plus size fashion content. There's literally something here for you. So I would love to have you here. And if I could crush that goal before the end of the year, y'all, just know a giveaway is coming. And beyond the giveaway, like I just love YouTube and I love the community that I've built over the years. It's helped me get through some crazy times in my life and even some of the good, good times in my life, but time for the voice over the end. I'm done. Now we're gonna add mousse to the top of his head and he's gonna sit under the dryer for an hour. Edge of mousse. And all they do is just help the seal the twists in.